tell them that we arrange ceremonies for all kinds of life transitions to mark events such as divorce, weddings, births, and funerals. I say a celebrant is a ritual maker, a person who marks the milestones in people's lives. I tell them that a celebrant is someone who has trained and studied and has been educated to perform ceremonies that honor rites of passages in our lives, um, meaningful ceremonies that I co-create with my clients. We perform personalized ceremonies. We're non-religious folks who believe in ceremonies and we believe that everyone deserves a ceremony that reflects who they really are and their values and beliefs. It's for people who have perhaps a different outlook on faith and who still want to honor those wonderful moments in their life but don't necessarily want a traditional religious aspect to it. A person who creates ceremonies with the couple or with the families that are involved uh, and what comes out of the, the wonderful process of creation is something that's unique and beautiful and personal and memorable and special. It's just so wonderful to share people's joy, to share these occasions which are so special, really the, the pinnacle of our lives, really the high point of our lives is, is these occasions when we celebrate all of the tiny little steps we've taken and we look back and we see how far we've come. What I like best about being a celebrant is the ability to offer people the choice to voice their own words and opinions during their wedding and giving them the freedom of their expression and the progressiveness of the movement. The thing that I like the most about being a celebrant is the people. And I love encouraging people to be themselves. What I like best about being a celebrant is seeing the faces of the people that I, that I speak to um, fill up with the sense that, that the ceremony can be whatever they want it to be. Before I became a celebrant, I was vice president of a consulting firm. I was a fundraising consultant for international NGOs. Before I was a celebrant, I was a lawyer, a litigation, a trial attorney for 12 years. I worked for the Department of Justice and for a large firm in New York. And I was uh, pretty sure that's not what I wanted to do, but I didn't know what I wanted to do next. My background's really interesting. I have a background in advertising and in computers. I was about 10 years in high tech, working with Bell Labs, and then also in New York City, working in the music industry, producing music for television and film. Before I was a celebrant, I was a lawyer. My background includes a career in marketing and public relations in the corporate world. I'm a writer and also a singer. I was a meeting planner and a special event producer and a talent executive. I was looking for something with more meaning and I was tired of fighting with people all day and I wanted to be involved in celebrating things or in honoring important occasions. I have always been a ritual maker for my own family and so it seemed a natural extension of that. I was led to become a celebrant because I was looking to do something more meaningful I wanted to interact with people and I wanted, once I learned about celebrancy, I wanted to give people something that would stay with them, that would let them know that their lives matter. I feel that all of the paths in my life that I've been taking up to this point are what led me to where I am now, to this epiphany that I had when I read about celebrancy and I just was amazed that there was something out there that fit all of my skills and all of my needs to contribute to society through my career and to fulfill myself through um, work that I feel is going to make a difference in people's lives and in my community. We used to have a lot more ritual and a lot of our institutions would help us with transitions in ritual and I feel that people aren't really getting that need met. and. Uh, us with our training and our understanding of ritual and psychology and what people are going through in their lives are really able to be there with them at these times and it's a really healing thing that we're doing. I think it's really important to give respect to the day that people are joining their lives together. For those people who don't have a church home or who aren't religious, the day is every bit as meaningful and they need the dignity. They, don't, uh, they shouldn't have City Hall be their only option 
to uh, put memories and meaning into that day. Personalized celebrant ceremonies are so important in our society because everyone is different. Cookie cutter ceremonies do not work for a modern life.